Hi, this uh, video is about uh, Space Center Houston back in 2010. Uh, the, uh, today they've got a lot more and different uh, displays in, in, inside and out, but this is what they had then. It was pretty impressive 10 years ago. So uh, it's really a good place to go visit. I, I worked on the Apollo and Downey, and uh, things were shipped over here to Houston for different tests and, and and operations. Houston was a big deal back in the Apollo days. It was mission control, and it still is a big deal for space. But uh, back in the heyday of the, of the Apollo, it was uh, very very popular, and. Uh, it's well worth going to this particular park even now. It's uh, it's impressive. I would recommend going there and uh, spending probably as much time as possible if you like uh, if you like space stuff. There's a lot to see, and uh, the mission control room is very modern. It's not the same one they used during the Apollo era. They have that like in a museum kind of thing in in one of the buildings, and it's somewhere else. But this is the uh, one that's active now. Uh, they, they let you go to the viewing room and uh, look at uh, what's going on at the current current uh, situations. They'll see things that are going on in the space right now. So it's it's very interesting, and they give you plenty of time to look at everything. It's, they don't rush you through like some places. Um, this is the display room. It's actually they call it now a training room for the astronauts. But it's really a, a place with a lot of mock-ups, and uh, they have the, the the International Space Station mock-up in here, and you can walk. Through. You can't walk through it. Uh, I was I had a privilege to to I knew one of the fellows that worked there, and he he got me permission so I could go walk through the uh, area itself. But anyway, uh, the, the the tourists are really usually confined to. Um, just the viewing uh, windows, but it it shows quite a bit. You can see quite a bit from there. It's it's got big bay windows and uh, and the, all the equipment is all interesting. There's a guy that goes through it with you and explains some of the stuff you're looking at. So it, you're not just looking at a bunch of equipment lay, laying around. Uh, at that time, they had the space shuttle in here. I don't know if they have that anymore there because they they have a mock-up outside now that has the uh, transport and a space shuttle on. On top, the one uh, when they did the final f uh, fly fly uh, throughs, the actual uh, last flight was in, the, in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, it's now in the, in the museum in Los Angeles, uh, Los, Ange Los Angeles Museum. So if you're ever in Los Angeles, it'd be nice to see the space shuttle. That the last uh, flight of was uh, there, and uh, it was it, it was a big deal in L.A. when they did that. But anyway, this mock-up room has a lot of equipment, and it's uh, it's well worth seeing. I I took a lot of pictures there, and I had uh, some other people take pictures for me while we were in the, in there. This is the inside of the the International Space Station. That's a photo of my wife, and uh, it kind of looks like just hallways in there. It's uh, they need something like a hollow deck up there, so like in Star Trek, so people could. Give them something to do this, a break, a break from all this technical stuff. We're back on the road here, and uh, we're going to see another building. And that particular building is uh, coming up. Uh, this is a picture of the flag. And they're in the, right in the heart of uh, the old MSC facilities. And uh, there's uh, we're going into... Uh, uh, some see some equipment that was been used in one of the buildings, and uh, trying to get the name of the place here. And there's a mock-up of the space shuttle inside. This is some fake portraits we did. It's kind of not need to be inside of that thing. Okay, this is a Rocket Park. Uh, that's a built Rocket Park building, and it's it's great. They have a a. a, a uh, Saturn V uh, miss, uh, rocket with uh, the Apollo mounted on top in there, and it's laying on its side. And uh, it's a huge building, and you get to walk through the whole. You can see the the rocket all the way through, and they have this hallway here that has the uh, the different missions that were there. That's a, a mission seventeen, uh, 
Apollo mission 17, 16, 15, etc., all the way down to 1. And uh, rocking through, they have displays on there about the different things. Now, this is on the other side of the rocket, and it's a little display uh, booth there, and it has uh, the moon, and they show the the uh, orbit that went from the, from the Earth to the moon and back. So, and here's a picture of the Apollo. It's uh, It's got the, the, the escape rocket on top. And it's, it, this is a real deal. I don't know if it's, it's probably just a mock-up, but... Um, it's still impressive. All this whole thing, might, I don't know if it's an actual, I think it's an actual one, not a mock-up. It's still got all this wiring and stuff in it. <clears throat> so I didn't really look at uh, the information if this was a mock-up or the actual ro rocket being used. It looks like an actual rocket. And, and um, we got a lot of them back in the day. They were, they were expensive, but they did the job. Um, there's the different sections. Uh, they had different stages on there. And that's the second stage there. That was made uh, by Rockwell. And uh, it had five rockets in the, in the back. And uh, now this is the first stage. And that was made by Boeing. And uh, they had, uh, this shows the size of it. It takes up almost the entire room there. Uh, I've got pictures of the, the rocket itself in the back. And I took some different views of it just so you can see what the rocket looks like. Uh, it, they're big. They're really huge. It, it, I should have had somebody stand in front of it so you could see how large these things are. And during launch, they make a lot of noise and they make a lot of smoke and a lot of fire. Uh, this is a, the, I think the sec this is the second stage and showing the, the, the front of it. And here's an F1 engine that was used on there. And to show you the size, there it is. I wish I put a, put, put somebody in front of it so you could see what it looked like. And this is a display for the Apollo 1. It's along that row where they had all those different uh, uh, missions. And the, the unfortunate thing about Apollo 1, I worked on that bird, and uh, it was a fire, and and it was, uh, it was something to do with oxygen, and it, it was uh, it was a it was a bad thing anyway. But the, all those three astronauts died in a fire, and it was they never really got a chance to go into space. It was at the launch stand. But uh, the things were improved, and the uh, everything got better after that. The guys were more conscientious. There was more uh, attention played to their, to their work, and cause these things. This this is a real deal. You can't be messing around with this space program. It was the early days of space program. They did they didn't know about a lot of things. So it just uh, the way it is. So there's a picture of it all burned up, and. Uh, Here's the Apollo 11. These are the guys that went to the moon and, and landed on on uh, the moon itself. Two of them did, anyway. And here's a picture of one of them uh, on the moon itself. This this is on the display for uh, Apollo 11. And here is showing the, the again the front stage is of that bird. And here's 17. Now we go along that. Uh, it covers the 17, 16 bridge. I walk through that hallway. And you can see it a little more close up of what's, what's, uh, what the displays are. Uh, you'll have to go down there to see the actual displays. So it, that I I didn't have. That was not the purpose of making this video. It's just kind of give you an idea what what is there, and you can go down there and see for yourself. But it's very impressive. It has a lot of different information on each each particular mission. What was the highlight, and what was re really important for those different missions. So uh, I, I got up to a mission, I think seven, and then I jumped out to one. So I put it in a little bit. Oh, there actually, yeah, there's one. Yeah. So uh, this is a yard that's adjacent to the rocket park building, and they had some uh, uh, rockets outside. And this is Little Joe. Little Joe was used for testing with a uh, boiler plates, and they test different things on the 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 uh, Apollo boiler plate. Boiler plates is just a a replica of the uh, actual bird, and it does every, everything made the same. And uh, this is kind of a, a little explanation about the boilerplate. And the boilerplates were used for testing. They dropped them on the ground, and they threw them off planes, and they put parachutes on them. Now here's a, a rocket again. I don't know which one is fine. It might be the F1 again. And this is a... Uh, and we're coming next to the end of this video, and uh, thank you for watching uh, the video. and. And goodbye.